And Bob would say right there, and that one that's having the experience, yeah, thou art that. Right. You are that. You are that one having that experience. <laughs> but yeah. to have that experience, you must. the first thing that must happen is the one must forget it's the one and start believing it's two. Because if it, if it created a seeming two, but one was still walking around like it was one, then the whole illusion couldn't happen. It would know it's one. <laughs> right, believing We have to two. forget. Yes, we have to literally forget we are one to then have this seeming dual experience. Wouldn't happen otherwise. Because everything would be one. There'd be no experience to be had. All is one. <laughs> Nothing to be known. No thing to be known. Because the one doesn't consist of parts. It only seems to consist of parts when the dualistic instrument creates the parts with labels and symbols. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah, it's pretty mad. Uh, Terrence, may I, take, may I uh, run past another realisation I had? They seem to be coming pretty thick and fast at the moment. Yep. Is that yep. I, I, the, the, the central tenet of this illusion is that we believe ourselves to be, it, like the thoughts that refer to an eye, you can never find that eye, right? They're obviously just referring to an eye. But then it's not only, that's like one kind of level. And then it also feels like, we believe that the thoughts are talking to us, but actually thought is just a process like talking to itself, so to speak. And we just kind of tune into it. Is that correct? Yep. Yep. I would just ask you right there, who's yeah. tuning into it? Yes. Yeah, so, so is that what I'm supposed to find out? Or is that the realization? Well, see, I, I've, I gave you the answer. It's the one having the experience. Right. But I don't feel like I'm the one having the experience. I still feel like I'm the one who, who can choose to tune into the thoughts or not, right? Which is still identifying to some extent. If you're still taking yourself to be Connor, yeah, that's true. Right. So how do I not take but myself if you, to be if, Connor? If, if, if you were taking yourself to be one, the statement that you just made would be still true. Yeah. Uh, but so in, in, these, in this thing that we just talked about where you said about how you just find out what you're not and then the realisation of... It's not a realization of what you are, is it? Because you don't, you, you can't, like maybe you might say it like I am, like awareness, but it's not, you don't realize what you are explicitly, right? Like what, what is the realization? Do I even need to worry about that? Or is that just something that will happen or it won't? Don't, no, stop chasing that. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, don't, don't chase that, Connor. Yeah. Because I'll okay. tell you why. You'll never find that. Why? Because right. there's a chaser. Do you understand? There's someone yeah, wanting can... that, or there's a yeah. And anything that I learn Drop about that. it will become another mental like idea, right? And that'll be another barrier, essentially. Right. Okay. Yep. Just come to see what you're not. Come to see how the yeah. mind works. Come um, to see what all this what's actually happening, as opposed to what we think is happening. What's actually happening? But that's the point of our conversation today, Jerry. Where, where do you think I'm? I, need, I should be looking for what I'm not. Well, <laughs> right there, because the question came from Connor, didn't it? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Right there. So, <laughs> right there is where you need to look. <laughs> well, who's right Connor? There. Yeah, well, who said that? Right, who said, who said that? that? Okay. Nice. Yeah. Um, because as you're aware, yeah, thoughts just happen, right, Connor? Yeah, yeah. You're aware of that, yeah? But so too does speech. Yes, I realised that today as well, actually. Yeah, yeah. same thing. Same process yeah. is happening. Yeah, but we, 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 we believe it's me that's saying something. Right. <laughs> And so, so the Connor yeah. thought just happened as well. Yeah, of course. Yeah, right. The, the, the Connor, Connor thought, thought needs happened. that. Good. The Connor thought needs to happen 
for there to be a seeming experience of a conna. Without the conna thoughts, there's no conna. And I can't control that the conna thoughts. No. Yeah. That seems critical, would be, right? That yeah, is critical. Who would, I who, can't control the, the question, the, good. The question would be, who would be trying to control the conna thoughts? It right, would be conna. Thought conna. Thought, another conna thought. Good. Right. Okay. Good. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's yeah, good. yeah, that's good. All we're doing is look, look <laughs> peeling it back and going, hang on, what's actually happening here? <laughs> yeah. Yes, and catch it and catching it every time, catching it every time because at every little turn, yeah, the mind is trying to create a space or a place for a me. Every little turn, every little question, every little nuance, right, right. Yeah? And, and it, oh, can only create, it. it can cre only create a space inside its own domain, so to speak, right? It can only create a space in the idea of space. It can't create the idea of Connor in the here and now because there there is no space to put it. Correct. Right. So it's all right. a concept. <laughs> right. The oh, whole no. thing's a concept. Oh, it's completely self referential Oh, fantastic, Connor. This, yeah. Right. Yep. Now, see that. That's the that is a that's the truth. Now, affirm that to self, yourself. Still the concept. Yep. What's his wow. name? Um, Albert Einstein said, uh, "Time is something we invented." It's not a thing. Yeah. We invented it as human beings, yeah. But the the reason that we were able to invent the concept of time is because our thinking is dualistic. We understand yeah. a beginning yeah. and an end, yeah. But we do not understand something that doesn't have a beginning and doesn't have an end. We don't understand that. So we don't understand infinity and eternity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like we go, oh, what? But right. Give me something and, and, that has to start and finish, and I'm I'm onto that. Yeah, I got it. You know. And, and and the only reason we understand time is because the imagined idea of ourselves is at the center of the time. Like we're the center of the time, and then the past is one part, and the future is another part. Yeah. See the 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 me character cannot exist without there being a concept of time. Yes. So yeah. the concept of time must come first. Now, if that's the yeah. case, the, the concept of time comes first, yeah, then anything after that is going to be a concept. The character is going to be a concept because the, con the, the character is dependent for its seeming existence on the concept of time. Because right. like, like all of us sitting here, yeah, uh, we would say, yeah, I was born such and such a year and now I'm such and such an age and in between being born and now I've done blah, 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 and blah. Yeah, it seems like, like uh, uh, the passage of time seems to have happened. But the truth is, from the moment we're born to being here right now, all there's been is one constant, and I'm not talking about a measurement, one constant now. Right, and that's eternity. Yeah. If and, and if, sorry, if, if it's okay. If try and think of it like this, yeah. If the universe is infinite, then this body isn't a starting place. Right. Yeah. It's infinite. Yeah. Everything it's yeah, infinite. Yeah. So this can't be a starting place. Yet we believe I start here. <laughs> I am here. I start here. That is a very good point. Can't be. Yeah, if everything's infinite, this can't be a starting place. There is no starting place or end place. Jesus Christ. Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the sort of, they're the sort of responses I'm, I'm wanting to hear because it, it is yeah. that. Let's. That's why yeah. I'll say, Jesus Christ. That's why I'll swear sometimes. I'm like, fuck. Oh, 100%. Can you, like, I love your can style. You get, 
<laughs> Can you get this? The significance of this, the significance of mind, what it creates. Oh my God. And then you've yeah. got people sitting in meditation trying to, to stop the mind. Yeah, yeah. Give me a break. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Don't even bother trying to do that. It's ridiculous. Uh, just, just it creates. Go for it, yeah, go for it. All right, just back on your, your uh, you just you said that time is the first concept and then the the I narrative comes after. That That is still conceptual, right? Because the, the, the more direct yeah. experiences kind of arise simultaneously, right? Like the yeah. me is projected yeah, yeah. into the future simultaneously in the one thought. Yeah. See, at the age of six months, what time did you experience? I don't recall any. Good. Have, Why? Yeah, good. Don't Why don't you recall? Did they say nothing this'll to be, refer this'll, to? This will be another okay. little aha moment, right? Why? Why don't we recall being six months old? What the fuck? Cause Why? Because we had no reference to anything. Because we didn't have the reference to say I did this and I did that. Another way of saying that, which would be a bit more accurate, would be to say. Because we hadn't learned language yet. Yeah. And thoughts yeah. and memories are in your own language. Whatever language you're born into, whatever culture you're born into. We hadn't learned to yeah. speak yet. So at the age of six, there's no idea of a me yet. <laughs> because we need books to create the idea of a me and to have thoughts about the idea of a me, we must first learn to speak. Symbols, labels, words. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. you know, uh, <laughs> it's, you know, even a, even a, a two year old, you know, that's starting to learn to speak, yeah, still would have no concept of time. Still wouldn't know what time is, like, wouldn't have a concept of time yet. Yeah. And might still be just toying with mum, dad. Dad, da, mama, or you know, some basic, like, very basic. We don't have a concept of time yet. <laughs> mm, yeah. And then, then we get then, then we get asked the question: What is time? What's time? Physicists are playing with this all the time. Time. What is time? <laughs> like, what is it? If it's always now, how do we squeeze time into now? If it's always now. Concept, then you've got to make it a concept, right? Okay, that's all you can do. Yeah. But Albert Einstein said, we invented it. It is a concept. Yeah. But yeah. so do our numbers. Numbers are a concept as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But we don't realize it. Show yeah. me two. Show me two. Yeah, Watch you're right. Happens. It's just a widely agreed upon thing is that this is two because it's, yeah. Yeah, but that's not two. What you showed me was our idea of two fingers. But show me yeah. two. How do you, what's what's two? <laughs> unless we, acquire, yeah, unless we equated two trees or two computers or two desks or two people or, but two itself, what's two? It's a concept <laughs> With, and a useful one. It works. It's great. So too is the concept of time. It works, but it's a concept. Yeah, right. It's a tool. Without the yeah, without the concept of numbers, Jesus Christ, where would we be, really? Yeah. Seems to work. Yeah, it's a concept. But the actual truth of it is there is no such thing as two, three, five, ten. 20. There's no such thing. Yeah. And certainly no such thing as time. You know, same with movement. There's no such thing as movement. We think there's, right. we believe that things are moving, but that's only, you know, we, we, we have to use a, a mind made reference point. Yes. Yeah. It's here. It's here, and we would say it's moved because it's now here, right? But compared to what? 
Oh, it was once there. It was once there. But but in our direct nowness experience, where's the movement? Really, where's the movement? So, so the, and the it's movement here, requires on it's the... Here, it's, it's here, and now it's here. Compared to what? Compared to an idea that it was once there. This is why time and space are interlinked, right? They, because something needs to move in space, but it requires time to move in space. Yeah. And then you discover there's no time, there's no movement. Yeah. yeah. It's an idea. Movement is an idea. It's amazing. It is. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then, and then, here's the clincher. If there's no such thing as time, then... This universe that you're experiencing, both of you, that you're experiencing right now, is bursting into existence brand new and fresh right now. And right now. Yeah. And right now. And it's not dependent on the previous now. Why? Because there's no such thing as time. Now think about the intelligence doing all of this. Because... It's, this now is not dependent on a previous now. Think of the intelligence now that's, that has the capacity to do that. It's not dependent on a previous now. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, my yeah. God. Fair and yet our experience, our experience, even when we know that, there still seems to be patterns. Like... If it was all chaotic, you'd be sitting here one second, Connor, and the next second you'd be sitting on the moon, and the next second you'd be sitting in LA, and the next second you'd be in bed, and that's it. You know, it'd be, it'd be, but it's not. There is a seeming pattern to all of this. And yet, the pattern is not dependent on a previous thing happening. Oh my God. Try and get your head around that. No wonder we call it God. No wonder philosophers over the over the years have called it God. And I mean, oh, what a lousy label that is, the label God, given what it actually is. Beautiful. Everything is bursting into existence, brand new and fresh right now. Holy shit. Yeah. How can how can how can we not? walk around in a state of wonder all the time when you finally know what's actually happening. It's jaw-dropping. No wonder people call it bliss. No wonder people call it happy. Like, I don't know, bliss is a kind of weird kind of word, but you, you're like, holy shit, this is fucking amazing. That kind of sounds blissfully happy, you know, or, <laughs> you know. But even having said that it includes everything. So it includes feeling, you know, more morbidly bloody depressed because we get a phone call and our, one of our parents have died. Or we get a phone call and one of our kids has been killed in a car accident or something. It includes that. Because mm. it's all one. Yeah? See, <clears throat> I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> you know, my I was on this path because I didn't want to feel anymore. I was hoping I had this idea in my head, yeah, that when I finally came to see, I wouldn't think and I wouldn't feel. And that sounded very attractive to me. Can you imagine what state I was in to be mm -hmm. seeking that? Can you imagine? Didn't want to yeah. feel anymore. That includes happiness, that includes everything. I didn't want to feel anymore. <laughs> Imagine my surprise when I discovered feel more now. I'm going to underline the word now. <laughs> I feel more now than I ever did. What's the difference? What I feel is in relation to now. Whereas once, 
what I was feeling could have been in relation to what happened five years ago, two years ago, 10 years ago, 20, 30, 40 years ago, which is where we, most of us live, is in the past, is in our memory. We live there. And we're having what we but feelings about stuff that's like we re-feel stuff over and over and over and over and over. So the difference is you just feel now, but it includes all sadness, happiness, anger, bliss, if you want to call it that, love. It includes all. And it all just happens spontaneously as the universe and everything in it is bursting into existence right here, right now. Boom. It's only the mind that makes up a story about everything. <laughs> it's only thoughts that makes up the story. Yeah. Well, not that the thoughts are actually making up the story, but yeah. in the absence of thoughts, there's no story. In the absence of thoughts, there's no description. In the absence of thoughts, there is no thing. Because it's thoughts that creates the thing. E.g., Terry, the yeah. tree. <laughs> Earlier, yeah. It's thoughts that 